Hello and my name is Robbie from Girl Bike Love. In this video we're going to be telling you all about the Wahoo RPM cadence sensor. Is it worth your money? Find out here. So a cadence sensor is a small device that's able to tell you your RPM when riding a bike. RPM stands for revolutions per minute, so it's the amount of rotations you do of the pedal stroke every 60 seconds. It's a fantastic device because not only can it tell you how quickly you're turning your legs, but it can also help you structure training sessions too. So who are Wahoo? So Wahoo is a huge name in indoor cycling. Not only do they make great cadence sensors, heart rate monitors, turbo trainers, they even do incline adjusters. They make some amazing products and they are well known as one of the leading brands in the industry. So now for the fun bit, let's start talking about the Wahoo RPM cadence sensor. So I've been using this for around two months now. I really like it. I definitely think it's worth your money and here's why. The first thing to mention is the design. It is tiny. Compared to other cadence sensors on the market, it's incredibly small. It attaches in two different ways. You can either use a small sticky back pad and just stick it directly to the pedal arm, or you can put it into a small rubber protective case and use cable ties like what I've done here. Next, we have performance. So I've been lucky enough to use a lot of different cadence sensors and I can definitely say the Wahoo is a cut above the rest. Not only is it really easy to connect and pretty much goes to any device because it's got Bluetooth and AMP Plus connectivity, it also sends signals really quickly. And one thing I did find with a lot of other cadence sensors is the minute you move like a meter away from the device, it just drops out. The Wahoo didn't. I could be three or four meters away and it's still taking that lovely positive connection at all times. Another thing I really liked about this cadence sensor is it has a small LED which tells you when it's trying to connect and also when it's on and working. This may sound like a very small thing but it makes a huge amount of difference compared to other cadence sensors I've used which you can just not tell what they're doing at any point in time. So then we have battery life. The Wahoo cadence sensor uses a CR3032 battery. So I think this is the best way to go because not only do you get a whole year's worth of battery life, but also you don't need to worry about charging it. You can just change the battery and you're on to the next session. I've been using it two months and I've yet to change a battery, which I would expect, but I can definitely see this lasting well over a year. If you were to use a lithium ion battery, you might even get multiple years out of it. So then we have warranty. So Wahoo offer a 28 day no worries returns and the warranty is two years in case it breaks. Compared to a lot of other cadence sensors that offer six months, a year, two years is a pretty solid amount and I can see it lasting way more than that. Coming in at 40 to $50, it is not a cheap cadence sensor and there are ones that are half the price on the market. But for the money you're spending, you are getting an amazing product and it is just incredible quality. So if you can afford it, I would completely justify that. So do I recommend the Wahoo RPM Cadence Sensor? A hundred percent. It's not the cheapest, but the performance is amazing. The battery life is great. And that small sleek design means you can fit it to practically any bike and it's gonna work perfectly. Yes, it's 40 to $50, but if you can afford it, it's a great buy. So thanks for taking the time to watch our video today. If you've got any great suggestions for RPM cadence sensors, drop them in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to the Girl Bike Love YouTube channel before you go. Stay cool.